Hello students and welcome to video number 2 for the topic Molecular Genetics, Evolution, and Population Ecology. Now let's continue the discussion about Sharga rule. So adenine and thymine is a double bond. So as you can see in the illustration, two weak bonds are connecting the adenine and thymine. While guanine and cytosine is a triple bond which is much stronger than adenine and thymine connection. So, diba? Tatlo ang weak bonds na nagko-connect sa cytosine and guanine. So, DNA double strand can separate into two single strands when heated. Question, which strand would require more heat or more energy to separate? An adenine thymine rich or a cytosine guanine rich double strand? So, the answer is the cytosine and guanine rich double strand. Kasi, May triple bond. Now, let's discuss RNA. So, RNA is much different from DNA. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. It is very similar to DNA, which they both have repeating subunits and nucleotides. Difference between RNA and DNA are the following. So, number one is the sugar. So, sa DNA, may deoxyribose. Pero sa RNA, ang sugar na meron ay ribose. Then, in terms of the nitrogenous bases, ang DNA ay may adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Pero ang RNA ay may adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. Wala silang thymine. Now, let's check the base pairings. Adenine pairs with uracil and guanine pairs with cytosine. So, this is the difference between the uracil na may kita sa RNA and thymine na may kita sa DNA. Ito, ayan. We have C connected with 3 hydrogen. While dito sa uracil, H lang yung mayroon. Now, let's discuss the RNA or ribonucleic acid. So, RNA is single-stranded and shorter in comparison or in compare to DNA. So, RNA is less stable than DNA. DNA doesn't persist in the cell for long. Sometimes it exists for a few seconds, whereas DNA can persist for the life of the cell. So, mas matagal ang buhay ng DNA. So, now let's discuss this. No? Protein synthesis is one of the vital process in life. So, when we say protein synthesis, it is the central dogma of molecular biology. Napaka-importante. Ito yung fundamental process na meron sa bawat life, life forms. So, in terms of RNA, we have three types of RNA na may kita sa buong protein synthesis procedure. So, we have the mRNA or the messenger RNA, the ribosomal RNA or rRNA, and the transfer RNA or tRNA. So, as you can see in this illustration, so DNA na merong red circular line that signifies cycle. So, pwedeng ang DNA will undergo replication or DNA replication na diniscuss natin sa video number one. Now, in conversion of DNA to RNA, ang proseso na pagdadaanan nila ay transcription. Now, this RNA will undergo protein synthesis by means of translation, where RNA becomes protein. So, ayan yung mga procedure. So, ito yung summary ng protein synthesis natin. Now, may mga special uh, special arrows dito. So, we have the broken line where RNA becomes DNA in the, in the process called reverse transcription. So, if you will go back to the, to the HIV, which is a type of virus, ayan, may reverse transcription tayong in connection to that HIV. So, pag-aaralan natin yan. Eventually. And then RNA will undergo RNA replication too. Now, this is the summary of the whole protein synthesis process. RNA to, I'm sorry, DNA to RNA, the process is transcription. RNA to protein is translation. Pero ang RNA to DNA, reverse transcription. DNA undergo DNA replication. We will continue our lessons in video number 3.